all wrapped up already? Great heavens! With nary a hiccup. Well done. Look around you and be comforted. You... So, that's what I've discovered. Holmes himself favoured the scientific method. And I think you'll agree I've nicely championed his cause. Hmm? Right, fine. You can't come in. Tell me the real culprit, or you can swing in the wind for all I care. Good day. You head outside, not quite knowing what to do now. The constable catches you up. Hey, wait for me. I'm sorry, but the inspector wanted me to watch out for you and to ask what you've been doing. Sorry about that. With a sigh, you make a start. Before long, the constable is sitting in rapt attention as you regale him with your adventures. Laying it on a bit thick, you tell him that your gallant quest for justice has, sadly, come to an end. No, no, you can't leave now. We've got to see this through. I'll help you. Um, that is, if you don't mind. We need to find these statues. So, what do you think? What indeed! What else but tally-ho! A new companion and renewed purpose. You'll show Inspector Bragg never to doubt a blue-toed detective. The constable has joined you on your investigation, encouraging you to solve the mystery behind the statues. Before you begin, however, I want to see if you can answer my questions. That clean sweep of questions puts you most resoundedly in my good book. Two of the statues were found at the Doctor's and the Antique Shop. Maybe the Colonel learnt of the third? Let us see if you can find them all. Even with the constable doing his best, the approach to the Antique Shop owner does not get off to the most auspicious start. You most certainly are, 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 I'm not taking it anywhere. It's not for sale. I'm rather fond of it. But this is for a most important police investigation. There's been murder and everything. Please, can we borrow it? Pretty please? Realising this is going nowhere, you're about to intervene when the statue's guardian turns to you. I recognise you. You, you, you. <laughs> Better. You helped me before after some rapscallion tried to. Uh, uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> if you want to assist me with this little matter, I'll let you borrow the statue. But I want it returned intact first thing tomorrow. You indulge the self serving antiques purveyor. The antique shop! And your result is... Aha! Correct! You're finished! That was quick! Oh, and aren't you the smug one? No mistakes! Well done! Please take... That done, you seek your just reward! So sim... 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 <laughs> so simple! Too simple, in fact. I shall be keeping my statue. Mm. Ooh, 
take it. Bring it back tomorrow morning. Achoo! That was well done. I didn't think we were going to get that. Pass it here a moment, will you? Sitting on a nearby park bench, the constable pokes and prods at the statue. You're about to offer to help when he turns one of the legs. Two tiles and a piece of paper fall out. Oh, I hope that was supposed to happen. We'd best take this along and look at it later. We don't want that antiques chap saying we broke his prize statue. You're tempted to point out that we didn't break anything. However, he is correct. This is neither the time nor the place. It is rare that you find yourself returning to the scene of your own crime. Breaking and entering has become something of a habit for you in Little Riddle. Gosh, there's a lot to go through and no mistake. I suppose we'd better split up and see if we can find this missing statue. There must be some organization to all this. Looking at the precarious piles of papers and research materials, you're not sure that organization was something Bert the Blag knew of. Still, one never knows. You found a notebook with relic. Let's see how you did. On the button. What? Finished already? Ooh, ooh! No mistakes made. Show off. There are no words sufficient. It seems from what you've uncovered that the con man colonel didn't know anything about the treasure, but did know about the statue. Look here! He doesn't know what's so important about it, but he mentions in his notebook about the village green. Says something needs unearthing there. It seems the third statue is interred on the village green. Perhaps further perusal of the notebook while on the green sward itself may be revealing. With the ever-enthused constable leading the way, you press on. At the doctor's house, the constable certainly seems to be getting into the spirit of the occasion. We don't have a warrant for this, so I'll catch it up if we get rumbled. I'll wait outside with your dog. He can bark if anyone comes, right? I can always step in and arrest you if the doctor comes, so it'll be all right. Yes, how terribly reassuring. The Doctor is not a believer in clean living, it seems. With the very room itself seeming to be a puzzle, it takes a while for you to find and focus on the real challenge. Amongst the mess.
What will the ducks reveal? Ah, spot on! Great, Scott! That was fast! You made that look easy, not an error in sight. Olympian intelligence deserves... So, the statue contained three items of importance. Two tiles and a small slip of paper, which reads... Until Judgment Day and the trumpet sound on that clarion call. It seems you'll need to pocket your discoveries and contemplate them later. Sorry about that. He saw a squirrel. Was it there? Did you get what we needed? You confirm that the incriminating evidence was there, but the constable rather deflates the euphoria. So, we know he's guilty. That's great. Of course, we can't use that evidence, seeing as how you broke in and all, but we know we're on the right track. Let's get going now, I suppose. Where next? On with the hunt. The village green looks awfully large in the fading light of day. Time is marching on, something of which your constabulary companion is keenly conscious. It would take us days to dig up all of this. We don't have that sort of time. The inspector would find out too and then we'd catch it up, no mistake. You're supposed to be on a train soon. What are we gonna do? As the constable's confidence collapses, you clutch closely the counterfeit colonel's copious copy. Perhaps in there, you will find a clue to expedite your excavations. You realize that finding a small... Miney. Ah, spot on. My, 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 weren't you in a hurry? And without a single error being made, you deserve...